Okay, now I want to prep my hour shafts for fletching. And this will be the end. This is my knock. I have it taped to keep any water out of it since I installed them. And we're going to clean the shaft with Comet and a green scratch pad. You can get these at dollar stores, flea markets, cheap. You can get a whole pack for a buck. They vary in thickness. But uh, they're very inexpensive. Okay, once we clean this hour shaft, this carbon shaft, we don't want to touch it because then you just put oil back on it and uh, we want to make it as clean as possible so we glue will stick to it when we fletch it. So I'll start out using cold water, soak the pad up, put comet on. twist it around to clean it. Put some common on my pad again. Use a turning mode around circle. Don't want to go back and forth because that'll put grooves in it that way. This will give it grooves in a circle. The way the shaft was made and the fletchings will stick better. Now, I'm going to rinse that off cold water, then I'll get hot water. I'm sure, we have all the uh, cleaning material comet off of it. Just real hot water for the cleaner off. Okay, now we won't touch that in, we'll leave it air dry. So now, don't touch it where you cleaned it. You don't need to do the whole shaft, just where you're going to fletch. When we go to put our fletchings on, I will use latex gloves so that I get no oil on that shaft. We left our arrows air dry, so we're getting ready to fletch them. The tools and items we're going to use to fletch these spinal tap arrows for a crossbow. We'll be using blazer two inch veins. Using the Arizona Bolt Fletcher. It gives a hard right helical turn to the veins and I've been using the Gorilla Super Glue. You also want to have some Q-tips 91% rubbing alcohol. That's what we'll use to clean the vein area that will be glued to the arrow shaft. The other thing you want to use some latex gloves. If you accidentally touch the area that you're installing your veins on, you won't put any oil off your finger. Arizona Easy Fletch Bolt, this has a cap on it that locks the arms together. It is also spring loaded, you push it up, then the arms will open up, you put them on, you slide your cap down over your arrow shaft, and then you press up and release that down, and that holds everything in place till it dries. So to use it, you press her up, remove your cap, there's one brown arm, two green arms. The brown arm indicates cock feather. Some crossbows, they might put a different color on. This is what you would use as your cock feather. I use the blazers. All three of them are green. What I do is, I will mark them based on 
this will be number one when I mark it after it's dry. That's my basic cock feather. And then I'll go to the right. This will be two, and this is three. So that's how I do it. If you're making your own arrows, you can do it any way you want. The other thing we need to do is, since we have our spline mark, we will want to turn it to the brown section or the cock feather. That's going to be our main goal. And whenever you're ready, this cap just slides down over here and it locks that top in place and then you release, like I said, the bottom. It comes up over and holds everything in place. Alright, we don't need that cap right at the moment. What we do need to do is make sure we have our spine and our brown arm in line. You insert your veins into each of the arms. Slide them down to the bottom. Then from this point, I need to wipe each one of them off with the alcohol. And it doesn't take much. I just work from the front of the vein back. And I'll take the other dry side and dry them off. Along with the air drying. Now before we start to add any glue, we want to make sure our veins are down at the bottom. Doesn't take much. Wipe that tip off. I'll put the cap back on. Close the arms, just ease it up real slow till it touches. Same way each one. Ease them up slow. Put your cap down. Take and release the bottom so it comes up. Put the pressure on. And you leave her. You can leave it air dry as long as you want to. It doesn't take real long. But we'll leave that uh, dry for a little bit. One other way to do your veins is you can do them ahead of time. And you can hold them. Wipe it down. Grab your next one. Wipe it down. You don't have to, but I just take the dry end. Get back over through it wipe it off and they're ready then for my next arrow to fletch okay here was the first arrow I did have my veins numbered one two and three the second arrow is still in the jig drying one thing you want to look at when you're done is at the front of the vein if there's not glue on this tip to the arrow shaft take your glue and put a drop at each one of them because what that does is if your arrow passes through your foam target that you're shooting or if you're shooting a bag target and it's getting shot out and your arrow passes through that will help keep the vein from stripping off your arrow and having to be replaced another thing any excess glue that you might get use a q-tip and just wipe, a, wipe it off along the edge if you can, if there's a lot, move it towards the front and put that bead up front. Okay, these might be alright, but just to show you what I mean, is you take your glue, get a little drop out there on the end, move to your next one, do the same thing, and then on the third one. And then just leave that dry. Okay, a quick tip for you. If your fletching arms get glue on them, take a Q-tip, 
dip it into acetone and you can clean that off and you can do each arm that way if they get real bad with a buildup of glue take a glass like this fill it up with acetone that it would cover the whole arms dip it into that and that will clean off any excess glue you just have to wipe it off them so then there's no glue it build up a glue on your fletching arms and you're good to go the next time you're ready to fletch your arrows so I hope the little fletching demonstration is of help to you if it's something you've been thinking about trying to do yourself it's not that hard now that you have these your arrows fletched do not shoot or use these arrows for at least 24 hours so that everything cures if you shoot them before that it's possible that you could peel the veins off if they go through your target so till next time shoot straight have tight groups so if you want to learn more on DIY hunting projects and crossbow hunting start today by hitting the round icon subscribe button and you will keep up to date Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.